the Los Angeles Rams versus the winners of the American Conference of the National Football League, the Cleveland Browns. Now we're ready for the world's championship game, a real thriller. 60,000 sun-drenched fans are on hand here at the huge Los Angeles Coliseum as the Los Angeles Rams come charging onto the field to boast a log of 11 wins and one loss for the 1951 season. Los Angeles coach Joe Stoddard will have his hands funny full this afternoon, and he'll be counting heavily on his talented quarterback, Bob Waterfield, passing and field goal specialist. And Nolan Van Brocklin, second half of the powerful Ram Aerial Circus, here passing to rangy Tom Pierce, one of the greatest ends in National League football. Paul Brown, coach of the Cleveland team, has a few tricks up his sleeve, too. Passing master, Otto Graham. Flashing fullback, Marion Motley. And sticky-fingered pass receivers, Max Speedy, number 58, Daddy Lavelli, and Dub Jones. Here's the toss of the coin with Waterfield representing the Rams. Tony Adamley representing Cleveland. That's referee Russell Gibb. Captain Tony Adamley wins the toss of the coin of extra receive. The Browns will be defending the East goal. Woodley Lewis kicks off for Los Angeles. A high floating kick that goes out of bounds in the Cleveland 22. Rams to penalize five yards. Will be forced to kick from their own 35-yard line. On the Los Angeles 35, Woodley Lewis kicks off. Cleveland's Ken Carpenter receives at the goal line. Fumbles, picks it up. Returns to the Cleveland 23 for Andy Robustelli, Los Angeles freshman end, makes the tackle. First place in scrimmage, Cleveland's ball, first down, 10 to go. Otto Graham calling signal, number 60. Graham right behind the center. It's a pitch out to Dub Jones, number 86. Jones picks up one yard. Tank Younger makes the tackle for Los Angeles. With the ball on the 24-yard line, Otto Graham goes back to pass. That's Otto calling the signals. That's Dub Jones in motion. Off to the left in the T formation. Graham goes to throw. He looks. He fires to Max Speedy. Good for 12 yards and a first down in the Cleveland 36. That's the first, first down of this football game. Otto Graham calls his team into the huddle, calls the signal, steps up to the line of scrimmage. Graham again dropping back. This time he looks and throws to Dante Lavelli for 13 yards. Another first down and the Cleveland 49. Jerry Williams and Don Paul collaborated to make the tackle. Graham again brings his team up to the line of scrimmage. Otto the ball into the arms of Marion Motley who slams through the middle to put the ball on the Los Angeles. Score nothing and nothing in the first quarter. Neither team has scored. Los Angeles hasn't had the ball on offense yet. Graham calling signals. Otto starts back, makes to Motley. Moves off to his right to his own 43. He's up to his own 45. Decides to run at the 50. He's at the 45, down to the 40. He whirls to the 35, all the way down to the 35-yard line of the Ram. The Graham call signals. Moving in now on the Ram goal line. Graham fakes the Motley with the left hand, gives the ball to Jones with the right hand. Jones fumbles, but recovers immediately. That's the line of scrimmage, no game. Four nothing and nothing. Second and ten. Graham steps back. He's being rushed by Brink. He fires over the middle to LaValle for 16 yards for his third successive completion and his first down Cleveland on the Los Angeles 19. Graham again calling signals. Graham hands off to Dub Jones again and Jones is hit after a yard advance as Don Paul brings him down. Second down, nine to go. On the 18-yard line. Graham goes back to pass, fakes to Motley. Looks downfield, Brink's coming in on him again, hits him around the arm, the pass is short, intended for Lavelli, incomplete. Incompleted forward pass. Third down, eight to go. Pull back Marion Motley, smashed over the middle for a yard, pick up to put the ball on the 17-yard line. Fourth down, seven. Paul Brown sends Lou Groza into the lineup to attempt a field goal from the Rams, 23. Tom James holds the kick, he's up. It's end over end. It's wide to the left. No good. The Rams take over on their own 20. A 71-yard Cleveland march comes to a halt. On the Rams' play from scrimmage, Tank Younger cuts over left tackle for one yard. Second down, nine to go. Bob Waterfield, number seven, calling signals. 
Bob gives the ball. Dan Toller, Deacon Dan, swings wide for nine yards and a first down on the Los Angeles 30. And that's the initial first down for the Rams in this football game. Sutterfield steps up to the line of scrimmage right behind his center. Balance line, T formation. Gives the ball to Younger. Younger hits left tackle for one yard. Len Ford of Michigan brings him down. Waterfield points off to the right there, number seven. Calling the signal. He pitches out to Deacon Dan Toller. Deacon Dan picks up one yard, and the ball is on the Los Angeles 32. Third down, Bob Waterfield calls the plays. Waterfield goes back, back to pass, can't get it away, decides to run, and things around right in for a six-yard advance. Tony Adamley hits him. Waterfield goes way into the air, but he's all right. He's not hurt. And it's fourth down two. Four. Nothing and nothing. Waterfield back in punt formation. His long, high kick is in the air. Taken by Cliff Lewis on the Cleveland 21. Lewis returns nicely for 13 yards before rookie guard Dick Doherty brings him down on the 34. Rounds ball, first and ten to go. Score nothing and nothing. A real thriller from Miller. Out of Graham. Goes back to pass, making it four completions out of five attempts. Passing to Dundee Lavelli for 17 yards. A first down on the Los Angeles 49. Score, think. First quarter. Behind the center, goes back to pass. Plays is rushed by Robustelli. And his pass, meant for Max Beatty. Balls short. Incomplete. Third down and ten to go. Third and ten with Graham calling the plays. Him takes the ball from center, goes back to pass. It's intended again for Lavelli. The valley is downfield. It's a beauty. The valley may get it. He misses it. Just missed it. Couldn't quite reach the ball. No touchdown. The score remains the same. Nothing and nothing. Gillum back in punt formation on fourth down. Horace Gillum gets away a towering punt. Tommy Kalminer under the ball. Signals for a fair catch on his own 12-yard line. First down, 10 to go for the Rams, and the Rams 12-yard line. Can nothing. Potter field behind the line. Gives the ball to Dan Towner. Towner breaks off right guard for four yards, and the ball rests on the Los Angeles 16. Potterfield goes back to throw his first pass of the ball game. Cleveland's Tom James almost intercepts the pass intended for Kane, and it falls incomplete. Potterfield again gives the ball to Dan Towner on a slashing run through center. Gains seven yards and a first down on the 23. 0-0 zero, zero, first quarter. Waterfield gives it to Tank Younger. He slams off left tackle for 14 yards to the Rams 37. Another Los Angeles first down. Waterfield number seven calling the plays for the Los Angeles Rams. The Rams are out to dethrone Cleveland today if they can. Waterfield drops back to attempt his second pass, but it falls incomplete intended for Younger. Waterfield back to pass. He's looking for his favorite receiver, Elroy Hirsch. Hirsch makes a great catch for 20 yards. For the first time in this game, the Rams are in Cleveland territory on the 43-yard line. And this play, a defensive holding penalty is called against the Browns. It puts the ball in position, good position for the Rams, and it's an automatic first down on the defensive holding penalty. First down, 10 to go for the Rams. Waterfield goes back to throw. He's looking on the screen to Deacon Dan Toller, but the pass is incomplete. Waterfield again steps up to the line of scrimmage, right in behind his own center. Tight T formation, Waterfield steps back, arches a long pass that falls, incomplete. Hirsch almost had it for a score, but it's an incompleted forward pass. Third and ten. Waterfield carries the ball himself and picks up two yards. Bill Willis of Ohio State, the Buckeyes, makes the tackle. Fourth down eight on the Cleveland 47, Waterfield punts. He's back there now waiting for the ball. There's his kick, lifts it high, into the end zone. Automatic touchback, Browns ball, first and 10 on their own 20. Score nothing and nothing in the first quarter. Ball on the 20-yard line of Cleveland. Graham goes back to pass, he throws a screen pass to Motley, and Motley moves nicely downfield for a seven-yard gain, but the play is nullified because of a Browns backfield in motion penalty, puts the ball back in the Browns 15. Ken Carpenter picks up four yards in the right end, run to put the ball on the 19 to make it second down 11. Score nothing and nothing, first quarter. Graham goes back to throw. Robustelli's coming in. He throws Otto for a three-yard loss. Third down, 14. 
Graham right in behind the center. What a lot of call here. It's a pitch out to Dub Jones. And Dub picks up one yard at left end. Don Paul makes a slum back in front portion. There's the pass from center. Killam gets away another long high punt. Vitamin T. Smith signals for a fair catch on the Los Angeles 45. And the first quarter ends with the score Los Angeles Rams nothing, the Browns nothing. Now when the teams change goals. Down of the second quarter, Rams ball on their own 45. Younger smashes the center, fumbles, and Jim Kane recovers for Los Angeles on the 49. Picking up four yards on the fumble. Allen's line, T formation. Bob Waterfield still in there at quarterback. Gives the ball to Dan Towler. Towler's halted for no gain at right end by Tony Atomley. Bob Waterfield from the T calls the plays and behind good protection. Fires a pass to Vitamin T. Smith. And Smith rambles for 18 yards in the first down, Los Angeles, on the Cleveland 33. Score nothing and nothing. Second quarter. Rams have their first scoring opportunity. Butterfield gives the ball to Vitamin T. Smith. He's swinging wide. He's going to be trapped. Tom James makes the tackle for Cleveland, the five-yard loss for Los Angeles. Bob Waterfield goes back to pass. He throws a screen pass to Dick Horner, good for 14 yards to the Cleveland 24. Cole. The Rams are moving in. The score, nothing and nothing. Potterfield behind the line gives the ball to Vitamin Smith, who cuts back for seven yards in the first down on the 17. Potterfield on the same play gives the ball to Vitamin Smith, and Smith moves through for three more yards. Number 77, Vitamin T. Smith. Waterfield now looking for the payoff play. Stops back. He fakes to the left. Then his Pierce is in the end zone. But the ball is over his head. No good. Third down. Waterfield moving back to pass. He throws. Interference is called. And the pass to Smith giving the Rams the first down in the Cleveland 12. Here's a repeat in slow motion of that play. You can see that Adam Lee is very depressed. Keep an eye on number 77, Vitamin T. Smith, the intended receiver. This interference penalty giving the Rams a first down offers them a great scoring opportunity on the Cleveland 12. Balance line, T formation. Dick Horner, over right tackle for four yards, putting the ball on the eight. Rams are very close now to a touchdown with a score nothing and nothing. Out of the huddle they come. Confidently as Waterfield directs his team. Handsome Roberts behind the center. Gives the ball to Vitamin T. Smith. Vitamin cuts for two valuable yards. Four nothing and nothing. Second quarter. Rams are now on the six-yard line. And Dan Tyler is given the ball. Elroy Hirsch throws a key block. Dan Tyler goes all the way down to the one-yard line before he is knocked out of bounds. One yard away from a touchdown with a score, nothing and nothing. In the world's championship game, postgraduate football being played in the Coliseum. Butterfield calls signals, and he gives the ball to Dick Horner, number 31. Horner smashes through for the touchdown. Los Angeles 6, Cleveland nothing. Lynn Davis will hold. Former West Point star. Bob Waterfield will try for the extra point. There's the pass and center of the balls on the ground. The kicks in the air. It's good. And the score is 7 to nothing. Los Angeles leads. Second quarter. There's the scoreboard. Willie Lewis kicks off for Los Angeles. Ken Carpenter takes it in the end zone. Comes out down the sidelines. He's hit. Boom, the ball pops out of his head and he makes a remarkable save for Cleveland. Back to the Cleveland 14. First down for the Browns on their own 14. Otto Graham at the helm. Pulls at his right sleeve. Calls a signal. Moves back to pass. Looks for Max Beatty. Throws. Connects for 17 yards to put the ball on the 31. First down Cleveland. 7-0 Rams leading second quarter. Graham calling signals. Graham moves back to throw. Again passes to Max Speedy, who runs out of bounds. Just six inches short of a first down in the Cleveland 41.
Even fall on their own 41-yard line, inches to go for a first down. They're trying to tie up the ball game if they can. Graham behind the line gives the ball to Ken Carpenter, who makes a first down on the 43. Graham again calling signals. Graham slips back, fakes to Motley, passes to complete to Ken Carpenter. A fine play for 17 yards as Ken rolls to the Los Angeles 40-yard line. First down 10 now for the Browns on the Los Angeles 40. The Rams lead 7 to nothing in the second quarter. Graham goes back to pass. He's looking downfield. He throws a long one. It may be a touchdown. Number 27, Marvin Johnson breaks up the play on the five-yard line. Great defensive maneuver on the part of Marvin Johnson. Graham calling signals. Goes back to throw, fakes to Motley. Smash for a six-yard loss while attempting to pass. Andy Robustelli made the tackle. Robustelli has been playing tremendous defensive ball for Joe Steidehar's team. Graham again goes back to pass. And he is nailed while attempting to pass, this time for a nine-yard loss, as Larry Brink rushes in to make the stop. Fourth down now for the Browns. Rams lead 7-0. Gillum back in punt formation. Gillum boots it. It's a high, soaring kick. Forcing the Rams' vitamin T. Smith to call for a fair catch on the 18. To Elroy Hirsch, but it's broken up by Warren Lahr. Third down and seven. Waterfield moves back, watches his protection, looks for a receiver, throws far downfield. There's a jump and a tremendous interception by Warren Lyer, who stole the ball away from Elroy Hirsch, giving Cleveland possession on their own 45. That pass of the debt over Lyer's head, Hirsch would have been off to the races, but Lyer made a sensational play. And now the Browns take over first and ten on their own 45. Otto Graham keeping his passes low to avoid interceptions. Connects with Max Speedy for 10 yards and a first down on the Los Angeles 45. Otto Graham calls signals. Otto Graham goes back to throw. He looks off to his right, passes to his right, and the pass is meant for Jones, incomplete. Broken up by Marvin Johnson. Four minutes left to play in the half. Graham goes back to throw. Again, he throws downfield, this time to Carpenter, and it's incomplete as Carpenter failed to hang onto the ball. Graham again goes back to pass. He looks off to his right. He throws downfield to Carpenter, and Carpenter again drops it. And now they're going to try a 52-yard field goal from the 48-yard line, and this will be Lou Groza kicking the score 7 to nothing. The ball's in the ground. Groza kicks. It's a beautiful end-over-end -end boot far downfield and right through the uprights with a three-point, setting a new world's playoff record of 52 yards from the goal post. The score now, the Rams seven, the Browns three. The National League marked is 54 yards held by Glenn Fresnel in 1934 against Green Bay. There's the kickoff by Lou Groza. Goes into the end zone. Comes out, it's down there. It's an automatic touchback. It's the Rams ball first and 10 in their own 20. Ball is given to Dick Horner on the first play and Horner pile drives through the middle for two yards. Second down eight, Bob Waterfield calls signals. Waterfield goes back. Waterfield throws downfield to Tom Fears, incomplete. Incompleted forward pass, backfield in motion penalty against the Rams was declined by the Browns, and that's Waterfield back to throw. Waterfield throws a long one downfield, but it's out of bounds. Met for Vitamin T. Smith. Now it's fourth down. Waterfield goes back in punt formation from his own eight-yard line, gets the kick away, and the ball sails out of bounds on the Cleveland 46. Downs ball first and ten at that point. Rams lead seven to three. Second quarter. Graham calling signals. Graham goes back to. Graham looks. He throws, and Max Speedy makes a tremendous catch for 14-yard gain in the first down on the Ram 40. Now watch this play as Graham goes back to pass. He looks to his right, passes to his left on the screen to Motley, and Motley begins to roll behind, fine blocking for 23 yards and a first down down to the Los Angeles 17-yard line. Watch this next play, Otto Graham calling signals. Graham moves off from behind the center. Doesn't even think he's following Carpenter. Carpenter throws a key block. Graham throws a fine pass. Dub Jones is moving for the ball, catches on the three, and rambles into the end zone for the tally. And the Browns go out in front for the first time in the ball game, nine to seven. Tom James will hold. Lou the toe Groza will try for the extra point. 
There's the snap from center. The ball's in the ground. The kick's in the air. Cleveland goes out in front. Ten to seven. Browns leading ten to seven. Late in the second quarter. Grows it. Kicks off. It's a towering end over ender. Fire downfield and out of the end zone. Automatic touchback. Comes out to the twenty yard line. First and ten for the Rams. Bob Waterfield goes back to pass. He looks for Elroy Hirsch. It's a long, whirling ball out of bounds. Intercepted out of bounds, but no play. Second down. Waterfield goes back to throw again. It's a screen pass to Dan Towler, and Towler drops the ball. Incomplete. Third and ten. Bob goes back to throw. He looks for Glenn Davis of West Point. Davis takes it for 11 yards. Woodley Lewis knocks Davis out of bounds on the Cleveland on the Ram 31. Waterfield goes back to pass to Hirsch. Hirsch makes a great catch. A play good for 15 yards and a first down on the 46. With a minute and 40 seconds remaining, Waterfield passes incomplete to Davis. Glenn couldn't quite catch up to the ball. Now Smith carrying the ball, loses two yards, attempting to sweep left end. Vitamin T, number 77. One minute, 25 seconds remaining in the first half. 10-7 to seven the score. The Browns lead. Waterfield goes back to pass. He looks. He hits Hirsch for yards and a first down on the Cleveland 39. And it begins to look as if the Rams have an excellent chance to go back into the lead or tie up the ball game before the first half ends. Waterfield goes back with a minute and 10 seconds left in the half. He fires to Fears for 18 yards to put the ball on the Cleveland 21. First down for the Rams on the Brown 21-yard line. 58 seconds left to play in the first half. Bob Waterfield directing his team masterfully down the field, calls the plays, goes back to pass. He looks, he passes in the flat to Glenn Davis, who smeared for a two-yard loss by Tony Adamley, the captain of the Cleveland Browns. Time, 35 seconds left. Waterfield goes back to throw. He's a long one to the goal intended for Fears, but Tom James intercepts for Cleveland on the one-yard line and falls to the two. And there's the gun ending the half. Halftime activities at the Coliseum in Los Angeles. Very colorful spectacle. Lots of excitement. Much pageantry, plenty of thrills. Here come the Cleveland Browns. Out of the dugout, out of the runway, from the dressing room with Paul Brown right behind him. Here are the Los Angeles Rams trotting across. Territory to the start of the third period. Lou Groza kicks off for Cleveland. Fine kick downfield taken by Jerry Williams on his own five. He swings out to the 10, cuts to the 15, the 20. He moves to the 24, and he's finally dropped after a nice return at the 26. Waterfield calling signals. Whirls all the way around and hands to Glenn Davis, who runs over center four yards. Waterfield behind the line, whirling around, and then pitching out to Deacon Dan Towler. Towler swings right in for three. Rams determined to get back into the lead in this football game, and Waterfield gives the ball to Tyler again, and the powerhouse cuts inside for five yards in the first down at the 38. Waterfield moves up to the line of scrimmage quietly and quickly, gives the ball to Vitamin T. Smith. Watch this tackle by Hal Herring. Herring really smacks in, and then him for a three-yard loss. Waterfield gives to Glenn Davis, who finds a hole through center. Good for five yards to the 40. Waterfield mixing up his plays well. Now is looking downfield. Trying to spot number 40. He looks, he hits Elroy Hirsch for 14 yards and a first down on the Cleveland 46. Waterfield again mixing the plays. Gives the ball to Tyler, who's... Picks up four yards, fumbles, and Hal Herring recovers for Cleveland on the Browns 41. Brown ball first and 10 to go. Browns leading 10 to 7. Otto Graham calls signal. Number 60, Graham goes back. He throws the passes low, incomplete. Now for one of the most interesting plays and one of the biggest thrills of the football game. Otto Graham calling signals. The Rams on defense. The Browns on offense. Graham steps back to pass. But the Rams' Larry Blink roars in from left end. Hits Otto. The ball pops out of his hands. It's picked up by Robustelli. He fumbles. Picks it up for the bounce. 
and Robustelli cruises all the way down to the Cleveland goal before he is dropped. Fumbles and recovers and is finally halted on the Browns' two-yard line. First and goal to go. Brink and Robustelli collaborating to give the Rams their chance to go back into the lead. That's Tyler with his headgear off. And now it's first down on the two. On the first play, Waterfield gives the ball to Dan Tyler, and Tyler smacks into the middle of the line for one yard. Second down, a yard to go for a touchdown. Waterfield, number seven, the quarterback, calls his team back into the huddle. They come up to the line of scrimmage on second down. The ball is given to Tyler again. Tyler hits the middle of the line and is ruled dead at the six-inch line. So it's third down, six inches to go for a touchdown. The score, 10 to seven, the Browns leading. Once more, Bob Waterfield calls the plays in the huddle. The Rams trying desperately to dethrone the Browns of Mickey McBride. Danny Reeves' is Rams team. That's Neil giving the ball again to Tyler. And Tyler rushes into the end zone for the touchdown. Rams 13, Browns 10. Ben Davis will hold the ball for the try for the extra point. Rams finally go back into the lead. Davis kneeling on the 10. There's the snap from center. The ball's on the ground. Waterfield adds the extra point. Los Angeles 14, Cleveland 10. Woodley Lewis kicks off for the Rams. It's a fine kick. A high end over ender downfield. Taken by Ken Carpenter in the end zone. Who gallops out and moves downfield to the Cleveland 27 before being grounded. Nice return by Ken Carpenter. First and 10 counts on the Brown 27-yard line. The Rams lead 14 to 10 in the third quarter. Otto Graham calling signals. Ball is given to Motley. Motley struggles, fights, battles, twists, and moves for four yards before he is dropped. Ball's in the 32-yard line of the Cleveland Browns. Otto Graham calling signals. Graham goes back to throw. He looks to his right. Starts to run and then passes off to Dub Jones who makes a great catch for a 26-yard gain and a first down at the Los Angeles 43. Jones gets up, tries to break away again, but is finally brought down. With Los Angeles in the 7-4 defense, Graham gives the ball to Marion Motley who hits the middle, picking up one yard. Browns trying with all their strength and ability to get back in first place, get back on top in the score. Graham's pass to Ken Carpenter is dropped, incomplete. Graham again going back to throw. Motley trying to block, misses the man. Graham throws a long one intended for Lavelli, but the Rams' Jerry Williams intercepts and returns to the Los Angeles 33. A fine interception by number 33, Jerry Williams, and he fell on his own 33. Collar takes the pass behind the line from Waterfield and loses one yard at right guard. Rams are out in front, 14 to 10. Bob Waterfield calls his team in a huddle. Now they're out of it, up the line of scrimmage. Waterfield goes back to pass. His pass intended for Smith falls incomplete at the 40-yard line. Third down, 11. Waterfield going back to pass. He is rushed. His pass to Smith is incomplete, almost intercepted by Woodley Lewis. Bob Waterfield on fourth down goes back in punt formation. Waterfield gets the pass from center. He lifts it high into the air. Carpenter takes it on the 17, comes out to the 18, changes direction quickly to the 20, moves out to the 23, where he's hit hard there. But there's a clipping penalty called against Brown, and it takes the ball all the way back to the Brown's eight-yard line. Works the Brown's ball, first and 10 to go, trailing 14 to 10. Dub Jones fumbles a pitch out, picks it up in the first bounce, and picks up three yards, going around right end, out of bounds, on the 11-yard line. Graham calling signals, the Rams leading in the third quarter. Otto may throw here. He is, he's going back to pass. He throws it, but an offside penalty against Los Angeles puts the ball in the Cleveland 16. And 14, Brown 10. Graham again is going to throw here. He wants to get back in the lead if he can. He passes. 
to the sidelines and out of bounds for a first down in the Cleveland 30. Nice catch by Jones on that play. Graham again going back. Archers along one downfield. Ken Carpenter's under it. Trying to grab it. This will be a touchdown, but it just misses incomplete. Graham now going back. This time he sure throws a short pass in the left flat. This one falls incomplete. Almost intercepted by the Rams. Herbie Rich. 14 to 10. The Rams lead. Graham again goes back to pass. This time it's another low one. Speedy dives for the ball to make it complete for 10 yards and a first down on the Browns 40. Nice catch by Max Speedy. Balance line, T formation, Graham coming up to the line of scrimmage. 14 to 10, the Rams lead. Watch this play, Graham gives it to Marion Motley. Watch him jump over the line. Motley moves for 11 yards and another first down on the Los Angeles 49. Here from Miller. Reach deep in their bag of tricks for this play. Graham has it set up beautifully. Goes back to throw. Passes. Max Speedy takes it all by himself and romps into the end zone. But there's a holding penalty against Cleveland. The touchdown is nullified. The play is called back. There's the discussion. There's the signal of the holding penalty. Graham is very depressed. Goes over and talks direct from Gartner, number 90. That's his headgear. They've lost the touchdown. Ball goes all the way back to the Cleveland 25-yard line. Graham calling signals. Graham goes back. Andy Robustelli is breaking in. He looks. He jumps. And he has Graham for an 11-yard loss. Larry Brink helped make the tackle. The ball is now in the Cleveland 14. Rams lead 14 to 10 late in the third quarter. Otto Graham behind the line, fake, passing to Dante Lavelli. The Rams' Jerry Williams bats the ball out of the receiver's hand. Incomplete. 14 to 10, the Rams leading in the third quarter. Otto Graham calls the plays. He gives it to a great halfback, Dub Jones, losing one yard, trying to circle left end. Bob Boyd makes the fine tackle for Los Angeles. So on fourth down, the Browns will be forced to punt. Horace Gillum steps back in punt formation. Standing in his own end zone, Gillum punts out. It's another high, whirling kick. Tom Kalminer signals for a fair catch on the Cleveland 49. And here's why. Look at Mr. Gibran standing right there, looking him face to face. Now Van Brocklin comes in at quarterback for the Rams. Number 25, Van Brocklin goes back to pass. He throws to Elroy Hirsch. Hirsch has a chance down the sidelines, but he drops the ball. Incomplete. Hirsch backs his headgear in his excitement. And Brocklin goes back to pass. Gets away a fine pass. A great catch is made by Tom Fears. Watch this great play by Fears. He gets up at the eight. He gets up at the five. He moves to the four, the two, to the one-yard line before he is finally brought down. A wonderful play by number 55, Tom Fears. And ball first down a yard away from a touchdown. Dan Towner loses yardage, trying to smack over for the score. Now it's second down with about two to go for a touchdown. Out of the huddle they come. Van Brocklin calling signals. Towner hits the same place and loses two yards to put the ball back on the Cleveland four. 25 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Dick Horner is held. On this play for no gain at center. And there's the end of the third quarter with the Rams out in front by a score of 14 to 10. Down the first play of the final quarter. The Rams line up for a field goal attempt with Davis holding and Waterfield standing in the kicking position. The ball is snapped to Glenn Davis. Davis jumps up, attempts a fake field goal, tries to swing around for the touchdown, but is nailed in the Cleveland 18 by Herring and Palmer. Ball goes over to Cleveland first down 10 on their own 18-yard line. Otto Graham calls the plays. Wipes off his trousers. Looks, moves back, into position to throw. Pitches out to Dub Jones for a five-yard gain to the 23-yard line. Number 86, Dub Jones. Otto Graham looks into the camera, calls his plays. Is rushed by Don Paul, and his pass falls incomplete out of bounds, intended 
for the valley. Graham again calls the signals, and Graham is passing now on almost every play. Graham, third down pass, is in the air. It's intercepted for the Rams. Marvin Johnson on the Cleveland 36, and Johnson returns all the way to the one-yard line before being knocked out of bounds. A real thriller from Miller. Score 14 to 10, Los Angeles. And for the second time, a chance. This time, they expect to come through. The Browns have been tremendous on defense. And Brockton calls signals. Gives the ball to Dick Horner, number 31. He smacked the left tackle for a gain of a half yard. Second down, a half a yard to go for a touchdown. Going back into the huddle, out of it up to the line of scrimmage, balance line, T formation. Van Brockton again gives it to Horner. And he stopped in the same place for no gain. Third down, a half a yard to go for a touchdown. And Brockton takes his team back, comes up to the line of scrimmage. Attempts a quarterback sneak, but the Rams are penalized for backfield in motion, and the ball goes out to the Cleveland five and a half. So now, and Rockland, on third down, will have to call another play. Five-yard penalty will be stepped off. Then Rockland steps back to throw, throws in the flat to Glenn Davis for a yard loss. And now the Rams purposely take a five-yard penalty for taking too much time in order to better the position for a field goal attempt. With Glenn Davis holding, Waterfield splits the uprights with a successful field goal from the Cleveland 17, score Ram 17, Browns 10. Fourth quarter, congratulations to Bert Bell, the commissioner of the National Football League, and to Fred Miller. Whitley Lewis kicks off for Los Angeles. It's taken by Ken Carpenter in the end zone. And Carpenter... Wheels his way across the chalk marks all the way out to his own 30-yard line. First and 10 now for the Browns on their own 30. The Rams lead 17 to 10. Otto Graham goes back to pass. He looks for Max Speedy, one of his favorite targets. He hits him and Max Speedy goes out of bounds after a nice catch. A 19-yard gain and a first down on the Cleveland 49. Rams leading 17 to 10, fourth quarter. Otto Graham, number 60, goes back to throw. His pass is meant for Dub Jones. Jones looks very disconsolate as he gets up. Second down. Graham again goes back pass. Looks downfield, throws to Jones. Again, it's wide of the mark and incomplete. Third down. Graham calling signal, incompleted passes, you know, stop the clock. Graham starts to his right, can't find any receivers in the clear. Whirls around quickly and starts galloping around his own left end. Gets a few key blocks and moves downfield for a 32-yard run to make it first down Cleveland on the Los Angeles 18. A brilliant play by Otto Graham. Graham steps back in after getting his breath, calling signals. And the tee gives the ball to Ken Carpenter, who goes around right end for a five-yard gain. Carpenter, number 84, hangs on to the ball. Graham calling signals. Ball's on the 13-yard line of Los Angeles. Rams in 7-4 defense. Graham moves down to the 11-yard line on the delayed quarterback sneak. Third down and three. Number 60, Otto Graham calls the plays. Gives it to one of his favorite ball players, Dub Jones, who finds a hole through left guard to pick up six yards in the first down on the Ram five-yard line. The Browns are very close to tying up the football game, and if they go in to overtime, they have sudden death. Graham again, this time on a pitch out, and that's Dub Jones. Circling right end, all the way down to the one-yard line. Jones almost went into the end zone for the touchdown that time. One yard away from the touchdown on second down. The Browns ball as they come out of the huddle. Otto Graham calling signals. Otto Graham, number 60, tries a delayed quarterback sneak and loses a yard as the hole fails to open. And now it's third down two. Winkler stopped him there. Third down, two to go. Two yards from a touchdown. Graham calling signals. 
The whole crowd standing. The ball is given to Ken Carpenter. He scores! And now the score is 17 to 16. The Rams lead. Now for the all-important extra point. Lou Groza, who won the championship last year with a field goal, will try and tie it up. Tom James is kneeling. There's the snap from center. The ball is on the ground. There's Groza's kick. The ball is up and over, and the score is tied at 17 all. 17 to 17 in the last quarter. Couldn't be any closer. Lou Groza kicking off for Cleveland. Kicks it completely out of the end zone to make it the Rams ball first and 10 in their own 20. Davis swings wide around right end, picking up two yards before being toppled out of bounds. Second down, eight to go on the 22. Browns line moving, Rams line moving. Van Brockton passes incomplete for the five-yard penalty for offside against Cleveland, puts the ball in the Rams 28. Now, the play of the day, and possibly the play of the year in postgraduate football. Norman Van Brockton goes back, arches a long, fine, high, spiraling pass far downfield. Tom Fears makes a great catch on the dead run and goes all the way to score for Los Angeles. A 72-yard touchdown play. Rams 23, Brown 17. Sideline play. Everyone excited there. No side of hire being patted on the back. Players are now patting Tom Fears on the back as he comes over. Tom whirls around to watch the extra point after shaking hands. Butterfield's try for the extra point, waiting for the snap. The ball's on the ground. The kick is through the uprights. Los Angeles 24, Cleveland 17. Cleveland was offside. L.A. declines the penalty, takes the point. They're leading by seven points as Woodley Lewis kicks off for the Rams. Ken Carpenter takes it over his shoulder on the two-yard line and returns to the 28-yard line on another fine return. Hurts and Ten on their own 28. Otto Graham calling signals. Otto Graham goes back to pass. Moves towards the sidelines at the 20. He's a pass, but it's intercepted by Don Paul of the Rams on the Cleveland 40 and returned all the way back to the 14. And the Rams fans go wild with joy. A real thriller, Don Miller. The ball is given to Vitamin Smith who picks up one yard at left end. Vitamin B played top by ball. Van Brockton, number 25, calling signals. Van Brockton fakes behind the line to Davis, goes back to pass. He looks for Elroy, crazy legs, Hirsch on the goal line, it's broken up. Tom James broke it up, stopped the touchdown. Third down. Van Brockton calls the play. Gives the ball to Dan Tyler. Tyler loses three yards, attempting to cut laterally. To... Bob Waterfield comes in to attempt the field goal from the Cleveland 23. The Browns, Bill Willis rushes in to block the kick, and the ball rolls out of bounds on the Cleveland 38. Score 24 to 17, Rams. Browns ball, first and 10, on their own 38. Otto Graham throws a long floating pass intended for LaValle. That ball's incomplete, almost intercepted. Graham goes back to throw. Pass is complete to Ken Carpenter, 12 yards and a first down at the midfield strike. Now the hopes and dreams of all these players are resting in the next few minutes play. Graham goes back to pass. And he is hit, losing three yards while attempting to run right end. Three minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Graham goes back to throw. His second down pass is short, incomplete, stopping the clock. Graham steps up to the line of scrimmage. Handling his team. Goes back to throw. Looks for Ken Carpenter. Passes complete to Carpenter to put the ball on the Los Angeles 43-yard line. It's fourth down. One yard to go for the first down, and this is the key play of the whole game for Cleveland now. Dub Jones gets the call. He's sweeping wide, and he's thrown for a one-yard loss by Norb Hecker, but attempting to pick up the first down, and the Rams take over on down. And there goes the last glimmering hope of the world champion, Cleveland Browns. 
Behind the line with two and a half minutes of playing time remaining, B.T. Smith runs around left end for eight yards to put the ball on the 48. Out of bounds, stops the clock, of course. Norman Van Brocklin and a quarterback sneak picks up three more yards. Now with two minutes remaining, Glenn Davis loses two yards at right tackle. One minute and 45 seconds left. Davis swings wide to the right to eat up the clock and is thrown for a yard loss. Long wide play by Glenn Davis, formerly of West Point. Third down and 13. Van Brockton, number 25, goes back to pass. Throws to Tom for a seven-yard gain. Pierce clutches the ball with all the strength. 41-yard line. That's remaining to play. A five-yard penalty for take time. Puts the Rams back in the 46. The field now in at quarterback. Goes back in formation. Waterfield gets the pass in center. And lifted into the end zone. With 15 seconds of playing time remaining, it's Cleveland. First and 10 and then 20. Now they're going to pull all the tricks out of the bag. Graham calls the signals. Graham comes up to the line of scrimmage, still confident. Still in charge as he goes back to pass. He throws to Max Speedy, who laterals to Carpenter on the 28. And Carpenter sprints for 10 more. Then runs out of bounds to stop with only... Six seconds left in the game. Time for possibly one more play. Six seconds remaining on the scoreboard clock. Graham calls the play, the fatal play, the last play of the game, the last play of the season. There's a lateral pass out to Ken Carpenter. Carpenter runs to his right and throws a forward pass down to Lavelli, but it's incomplete. And there's the gun, ending the ball game and making the Los Angeles Rams the world champions of 1951. Final score, the Los Angeles Rams 24, Crown 17. So you've seen the making of a new Major League Football champion, the Los Angeles Rams, Cleveland Browns, American Conference leader. What a game and what a day for the Los Angeles Rams. Jubilantly, they hoist their 275-pound mentor, Joe Stuck, and to you, Paul Brown, two great fellows behind two great teams. Now, this is Harry Wismer offering a toast, a Miller High Life toast to the Los Angeles Rams, world football champions of 1951. This has been a special film presentation of the Miller Group and your many friendly Miller High Life dealers.